Hi. Well, today out here at the range, I've got a Ruger GP100 revolver. Now, uh, most of the GP100s were chambered for 357 Magnum, probably a few in 38 Special, some in 10 millimeter. But this one is chambered for 327 Federal Magnum. Now, this is a 32 caliber round. Uh, light bullet, very high velocity, high pressure, and it's uh, billed as being about equivalent in power to a 357 Magnum, but I think that's a little ambitious, but still it packs a pretty good punch. Only use the, this, uh, generally these are loaded with either 85 grain or 100 grain bullets. Uh, what I've got here today is uh, 85 grain uh, jacketed soft point ammunition. And it does have a fair amount of power to it. There's no question about that. It has lighter recoil than a 357 because of the light weight of the bullet. It does have a lot of muzzle blast though. Very loud. And then a gun this big, it doesn't have that much recoil anyway. Even a 357 doesn't have a ton of recoil in a gun this heavy. But anyway, I'm going to run a few rounds through this thing today. One thing that I forgot to mention is that uh, almost all the GP100s are a six-shot revolver in uh, 38, 357. But... Uh, the little 32 uh, caliber, the 327 Federal Magnum, they've got it uh, chambered uh, in a seven shot. So you've got a seven shot cylinder. Like I said, it is does have a lot of muzzle blast, that cartridge does. Very loud. Well, I think they first started making these uh, GP100s in 1988. And they're still making them today. Now the vast majority of them are 357 Magnum. But they have made a few in 38 Special. And some other calibers, 10 millimeter. Let's get all the markings to show up here. Now this one, of course, chambered in 327 Federal Magnum. And this, I believe, is the only one that was ever chambered in uh, with a seven-shot cylinder instead of a six-shot cylinder. I think they may have even made this in a 44 special in a five shot. Got good sights. Decent uh, double action trigger pull. Maybe not as light and smooth as a Smith and Wesson or a Colt, but uh, pretty good. Single action trigger is real good on it. Well, they made these in a ver variety of barrel lengths, but I think on the 327 they only made this uh, four inch barrel, or maybe it's a four and a quarter inch barrel. The grips are decent, fit the hand pretty well. Just in general, it's a pretty decent little gun. Well, thanks for watching.